How are you, my friends? Welcome back. In the first video, we drew a pig, one of our farm animals. We did that. And then we went ahead and drew the chicken. We did that one. So now this is video number two. And in this one here, we're going to draw our third farm animal. Our third farm animal will be the cow. Moo moo. All right. So Mr. Cow, Mrs. Cow would be. Um, so her body is made out of shapes just like the chicken and the pig. Oh, yes, baby. So the head is almost like an oval. So we're going to draw the head. Yeah, almost like an oval. I'm going to put it like this because remember, I do not have a pencil. I have a marker so you can see better. So then the little ears, the flopping ears, are almost like little ovals. I'm going to put a little oval here, a little oval over here, okay? All right, so those are the ears. Then the cow has horns, you know, horns. So the horns are, they have a curve, right? But they're three-dimensional, so they close and a curve comes in. A curve, they close and a curve comes in. They look like macaronis. Yep, they do look like macaronis. And just like macaronis, sometimes they're different. <laughs> the mar macaroni elbows, like the, for the macaroni cheese, that one. Okay, so we have the head. And then the body of the cow is almost like a square. Yeah, a little square. So we're going to start the body behind this horn. So we're going to go a little up and across and a little down and we're going to go across now you have a pencil you can close that rectangle in i have a marker so i'm going to leave some space here and close the body over here then leave space for the legs and close the body here so let me repeat oval for the head two smaller ovals for the ears and two like macaroni elbow shapes, which has a curve for the horns. Then the body, almost like a rectangle. You see that? Almost like a rectangle. All right, let's move on. All right, so this is the back of the body. So the back of the body, the cow has a tail. So we're going to draw uh, one line going down and another line next to it, okay? Then we're going to draw almost like an oval, but with a point. It almost looks like a paintbrush. You see that? All right. And then this part here, we're going to add a leg. So the leg, we're going to have one straight line. They do have curves, but to teach you so that way you understand, one straight line. And then we're going to make a curve here. Boom. Okay. Now the legs... The, the bottom part is a little bit wider, right? So we're going to widen that and close it. You see that? I widen and close, okay? All right, so then on this bottom part, we have a curve, okay? And where the milk comes out, milk, milk, we're going to put four little um, curves down there. And then we're going to put the front leg. Here we will put that front leg, a leg going down, one straight line, one straight line, a curve. And then of course the bottom, see what we did with the legs? We're going to make them a slightly wider, like that. And then I'm going to add the other legs. So we have only two legs and the cow has four legs, right? Otherwise the cow could not walk around. So we're going to draw another straight line behind it, widen it up, boom, okay? We're going to put the other little leg about here. So one straight leg down, one straight line down, widen it up, okay? So our little cow, let's review the cow before we finish. So we have an oval head, two oval ears, macaroni elbow shapes, which is curves for the horns, the body almost a rectangle, straight line for the tail, and a tiny curve here, almost like a brush. 
and then four legs each leg has two straight lines two straight lines two straight lines two straight lines and they open up a little bit in the bottom all right so let's continue with our cow so our cow's um toes right we're going to draw a line like this you see that and one line in between you see one straight line like this and that straight line by the way is also a horizontal line horizontal and a straight line like this which is actually vertical it's tiny but it's vertical horizontal vertical horizontal vertical and you learn those words in my class literally this past um lesson all right so let's put the nose area of the cow so inside this curve we're going to draw a smaller oval curve and two nostrils just like we did um, in the pig just the nostrils were facing a different direction all right and then a little line for the ear a little line for the ear and in the front it looks like hair um but it's part of part of their fur there's like a little curve to it so i draw like a little curvy line there and then two circle eyes two circle eyes super cute super cute now cows could be one color they could be all brown right but some cows also have like large spots like dalmatians have spots and some other animals have spots the same thing so we're going to draw a wavy line inside one part of the body that's going to be the first spot another wavy line it looks like a splatter which is okay and another wavy line they don't have to be in perfect locations because they're all these animals are different and you can add another one if you want to you don't have to but you can add one there you see that so you got the cow and you can add the land okay now when we are in class you can in your house you can color the cow the regular color of a cow but we're going to make it a little bit different in class. We are going to use bright and bold colors in different parts of the cow. Okay, so let's take out our crayons. So you take a look. You can use warm colors. These three are warm colors, yellow, red, and orange. Okay, these three are cool colors which is blue purple and green you see that and then our regular color that we would use normally would could be a brown right and also a black right so we're going to save those if we need them later on but we want to use the bold colors and yes i know you're like why am i doing this well because the project is related to fauvism fauvism is about um, artists in the 1900s and these artists were radicals radicals in the sense of color um, they use bold colors to make their paintings um, like cows wouldn't be bright yellow like that right uh, no way but they did that and then nowadays sometimes even the cartoons that you guys watch or the plush toys that they sell in the stores they all have bright colors bright colors um, and bold so we're going to make the face in a bold warm color uh, tone so we're going to put warm colors here you see that warm colors okay so that's what I'm going to do right here put warm colors warm colors warm colors you see that okay so when you're in class, I do want you to use bold colors, just like this, okay? And this spot, let's say, is another cool color, which would be purple, all right? So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in class, and we're going to learn about the farm animals. Uh, you're going to pick a choice what to draw the farm animal, and then your farm rental doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be from the farm. Welcome and thank you for watching again. Have an awesome, awesome day.